Hi, welcome back to Red Dead Redemption 2, episode 24. So last time we found out the author had a son. Named Isaac. Named Isaac, and, and he, he was killed for $10. $10, yep. Know, that's sad. Mm-hmm. And we also helped, um, Arthur helped John blow up a bridge. Mm-hmm. And um, in that mission, Arthur kind of says to John, like, it's time for you and your family to get out of here. Like, this gang is, like, going downhill. That's my words, not his. But, um, so what we're going to do today is we're actually going to go to Strawberry this time. I know that last time I said, yeah, we're going to Strawberry and I'm going to find the body. But now we actually are. Someone gave me a little hint on where the body is. Um, and then we're also going to go to Santony. Oh, someone told me to look at the, uh, Uncle's horse, that his face is unique. So we're going to do that. And then um, I'm still going to try to remember to go to the Lemoyne um, Crossroads or the Railroad or something. Because uh, there's apparently like a random event or something like that. So yeah, we'll see where the game takes us. Arthur smoking a little ciggy. Yeah, he is. <coughs> oh boy. There we go. Hey, get up. What? <clears throat> What's going on? Arthur, did you really just wake him up? It's okay. I'm just needling you. I'm exhausted. Oh yeah, what do you do? Oh, Sit around camp? Up in this place. Aw, Jack. Uh, long dead. You okay? Can I go play with the skulls? No, just stay away from that cave. Okay. Cutie. He is. I have to get serious when Jack's trying to go somewhere. Uh huh. He does. Good morning. Morning. <clears throat> you go say hi to this useless piece of garbage. So, oh you God. got tired of making money, did you, Black Lung? Go to hell. Well, I guess it's true what they say. You can't take it with you. But Herr Strauss, I thought you liked helping the weak and unfortunate. You're unfortunate. I don't like helping you. <laughs> <laughs> Very amusing. Just try to stop making more trouble for us. Some of us are trying to save folk, not make unnecessary I believe he's saying dramas. Um, okay, thanks, Micah. Did nothing. Morning. That's it. I could use the company. Aw, what's wrong? Any news? Nothing you don't already know. Okay, well, keep me posted. Be strong. You too, John. You needed to sit down for that? <laughs> Hi, Reverend. Yes, Arthur. Have a seat. Glad you're here. How are you holding up? I feel I should be asking you that. What does that even mean? I'll be fine. Don't worry about it. Oh, because I'm sick. Be Sorry, well. I forgot. Can't even antagonize that asshole. Oh, why is Dutch's tent closed? What's going on? What are you doing in there, Dutch? Where is he? Is he even in there? He's not even in there. Why is your tent closed? Can't get in? No. Okie dokie. How are you holding up? Let's see if we can figure out which one is Uncle's horse by the face. Hi, Charles. Charles. Morning, Arthur. Morning. Hi, Mary Beth. Every morning, I wish I wasn't in this place. I know, me too. Hey, Mary Beth. Okay. How are you holding up? What's the plan here? Is Dutch going to be all right? No. We'll work something out, I promise. Okay, Arthur. Tilly. Hope we have a better day. Me too. You okay? All this whispering and walking on eggshells, I hate it. I know. Freaking Grimshaw used to be Dutch's girlfriend. Crazy. See, get that is. No argument. Susan. You're a stronger woman than I am. What do you think we should do about Dutch? He has a lot of pressure on him. Don't forget all he's done for you. Mm. I'm leaving. Okay, let's look at these horses. See if any of them have an interesting face. Looks like a normal horse face to me. Yep. I think I have binoculars. 
Okay, looks very normal. Mm-hmm. But it's gonna be the okay, really? Really? We haven't seen that in a while. Oh, you're pretty, whoever you are. Having fun, Hello. Neil the second. I feel like Morning, Arthur. Where are you? Morning, Karen. Oh, did not mean to do that. But you did. But I did. None of you horses better kick me. How can a horse look different? Oh, I think that it's this one. I think it's this one. I think he has the horse that has, like, the hooves on it. I don't know. I don't know, Sharshar. I don't either. This is a pretty horse. Gwydion. Gideon. Is that how you spell it? How do you spell that? Gideon? Sounds like it. Pretty. Pretty positive that's it. This one right here? No, is... I'm saying it's pretty much Gideon. Oh, oh Gideon. I'm looking at some faces, and I'm not well, His saying... face is bigger. No, I'm maybe that's not how. You see him lick? I don't think so. They all look like horses. Pretty basic. Pretty basic horses. Maybe Beautiful. this one. There's this one here. Basic. Uncle, is this your horse? He's hiding his face. He's like, oh, fuck, he's on me. <laughs> hey. Old boy. No, that's John's horse. I think old boy is John's horse. Let me see you. Dude, stop eating grass. You're going to get fat. How did you remember his name was Old Boy? It says it right there at the bottom oh, of the screen. Oh, Okay. Let me study him, I guess, while I'm I here. I was impressed with your memory. Thank you. No, I'm not. Okay, asshole. Can you look at me? <laughs> Maybe you can pet him. Oh, you can't pet I'm gonna him. I'm going to go look at this one really quick. You look pretty normal, too. Do you have an eye? Sorry, sorry. What about that one down there? Dude, look at him! He won't look at me! He looks normal. Yeah, he does. Peculiar. How bizarre. How bizarre. Are you normal? Yeah, you look like it to me. Dude, this horse is actually pissing me off. What are you doing? Let me get in his business for a second. Put away. Let's put these away. Hey, mister. I'm trying to upset him or something, you know? No, get some reaction. Out yes, of there we go. Okay, good. Oh, fuck. Don't kick me. Don't kick me. Don't kick me. Uh -oh. <gasps> right back to it. Right back to it. What are you doing? Oh, my goodness. You're a jerk. You know that, whoever you are. The food will be there. Look at me. Well, I guess we're never going to see it, huh? Hmm. Okay. Well, because he's obviously not it. Maybe we looked at him and we don't even know it. Yeah. Come on, honey. Oh, actually, wait, no. I need to go fast travel. Mary Beth's about to get mad at me. For bringing my horse. Get that horse out of camp. Oh, I am. We are loyalty. It's you. Me. Hello, Arthur. You Sit saved down. me once. More than once. I've saved you. And now I'm sticking to my family. <sighs> These people ain't your family. Who are they? Oh, you know what? You're an <gasps> arrogant son of a bitch, John. No. I won't let my child die because of Dutch. I can't. I love Dutch. Deep in thought, Arthur? Shh, this is getting crazy. You know it. Get your head straight, John. Uh, Javier, you need to get your head straight. Right. Hello. John, I'm sorry about that. Seems like sides are getting drawn. And it ain't about us being disloyal. I guess to someone like Javier, it is. See you later. Well, don't give up on everything just yet. He always says yeah. that. Mm -hmm. Hey, Karen. Sorry hey, I ignored you earlier. Karen. Oh, hey. Javier, my man. What's happening? I'm I'm, I'm actually just going to go fast travel. I'll see you later, Javier. <clears throat> Hi, Chili. We already said hello. I'm getting there first, Trelawney. 
<laughs> okay. Let us fast travel. Does it Stroll cost money? By a oh. Mm. What? Does it cost money? I haven't seen the prices. Well, here I am. <clears throat> New journal entry. Really? What's Arthur gotten to say? Page? Let me see. He actually has said a few things. Wow. Oh no, that's Shady Bell. So let's go back. Ooh, that's Shady Bell too. Upon returning, found the folk again. At least them, them as ain't dead. What does that even mean? I know. But within a few hours, the Pinkertons found us. An old, old Agent Milton wants us all dead, yet somehow we survived and have planned another escape. Not sure what happens next. Whole thing has been hard on all of us. Most of all, Dutch, who seems half crazed. Oh yeah, we already read that. Um, another body seems to have linked somehow to the previous one. More paper in its mouth, maybe directions to the same place. I don't know. Okay, turns out I'm not very well. Got tuberculosis. Doctor didn't know how long I would last. All them bullets shot at me. All them horses threw at me. All them fights. And it was beating up that pathetic little fella Downs that killed me, I reckon. He's the only man I was near that was sick. He begged for mercy and I beat the bastard and he died. And now I'm dying too. The way of the world. My mind is racing, of course. That monk and that nun. Down, Downs' widow, Abigail, Mary. Mm -hmm. oh, why is he thinking about Abigail? No. <clears throat> Dutch, when I. Uh, Dutch, when I first knew him, Hosea, my dead paw, the no good bastard, the whole crowd of people, and what kind of man have I been? What kind of man am I? What world is this we live in? in? A land of fury or a place of love? Am I being prepared for eternal damnation? In my past saving, is that all fairy tales? Man ain't much good in him. Man ain't got much good in him. I ain't got no good in me. Yes, you do, Arthur. Absolutely. I don't think, and yet I see goodness. I see it. If not in me, in good folk. In Abigail and her love for Jack. In that silly monk. In Downs, I guess. Begging, not for himself, but for the poor. Even though he was near starving himself. Maybe I don't want salvation. Part of me has always longed for death. Oh my gosh, well here it comes, I suppose. Look at her. A beautiful little tree. Beaver hollow. Molly ratted us out. Dutch broke her heart, so she told the law about us. Explains how they found us so easily, I guess. Love does strange things to us all, even stranger than hate. She turned up drunk and mouthy and told us all this. She was so pathetic, I wanted to spare her. Aw. But Miss Grimshaw put a bullet in her anyway. Guess it was right. Guess there wasn't much of a choice. <clears throat> this is this was in our new camp, high in some nasty country, bad lands, or as bad as we can find for this this far to the east. The place we are holed up used to be belong to a bunch of murderers, the Murfrees, or some nonsense like that they call themselves. We shot some of them, but there is more lurking in the woods around this place. I don't think we have long here before the law or the Pinkertons find us again. I just hope we can keep ahead of them for a while or keep or ahead of ourselves. <clears throat> Sound, found a raving lunatic, completely raving. Took him back to a village nearby, Butcher's Creek. Something ain't right there. Some kind of village elder, Obadiah maybe, appeared. He spoke mostly nonsense. Weird place, something not right at all. Um, sis, oh, penitentiary? Oh, that's the, okay, that's, okay. Uh, we re rescued Marston from prison where he was awaiting, hanging, spied on them in a balloon, an event that was amazing and awful, and I would thought would kill me quicker than this illness. Later, Sadie and I rescued him, all getting shot at. I did it for Abigail, of course, in her own way, the finest woman I know. Mm -hmm. How sweet! But also for Jack, I guess, Marston himself. I kind of like him. <laughs> mm -hmm. We've argued for over the years, but I've grown to care a little for him. He's less of a fool than he was, and maybe he could—he can have the luck that has eluded me. Jack is an innocent little boy, 
In him, I see what I missed. We did it. Wow. Miss Adler and me, and then got attacked by Dutch. I went behind his back, and he never likes that. But I suppose the years of blind loyalty is at an end. Yes. Loyal, yes, but not blind. Not until he opens his eyes as to the hell we are in and who his friends really are. Micah, I no longer trust whatsoever, nor do I trust half of them, nor myself. Whole thing's a mess, and I cannot think clearly. <clears throat> okay, pretty little flower. Mm -hmm. Dutch is in, in his infinite wisdom decided to shoot Leviticus Cornwall. Now, I'm not saying Cornwall did not need shooting, but I don't think it was quite our place to act as his judge and executioner. Micah and Dutch seem to be planning something. Seems like what they both want most of all is all of us dead. Went back to that place, Butcher's Creek. The locals thought they were being attacked by demons, but I think they were just sick dogs. Seems like Obadiah, the elder, is also possessed by this snake by this snake oil shaman fella that turned up. He wants me to destroy some cursed charms in the woods and around there. We shall see quite what the shaman's game is, but there's some nonsense aloof. For some insane reason, I went gathering debts for Strauss. Whole business revolted me. Bunch of sad, desperate bastards and me, their worst nightmare. I'd have... I'd had enough of the whole business, so I ran Strauss out of camp. Whole business of loaning revolted me. Turns out it's going to kill me, so I guess that's about right. Probably did Strauss a favor running him out of the camp. Either way, I could not bear to see his beady eyes. No more. Me and Arthur are the same. No doubt. Mm-hmm. Sight of that... Sight of the poor soldier and his squaw wife will be with me when I die. What is that in reference to? She's a Native American... Poor soldier. No, I'm just trying to think what he's talking about. Oh, I thought you meant squall. Sight of the poor soldier. The squall wife. Oh, 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 oh! Um, those are some of the people that we helped. Um, the that wa he wanted us to collect a debt. Uh, uh, oh yeah. Debt, and we didn't. Okay. Saw eagle flies. The chief's son again. Dutch was captivated by him, turning. On all his charm and confidence and seeming like a dangerous snake. What is wrong with him? Eagle Flies is desperate and angry. The local regiment are torturing, to no, so tor tormenting him in the go and goading him into a fight. Now Dutch is in his ear. This will be a disaster. Pork old Karen has taken to the drink something awful. No doubt. I'll hear. Found a crazy young woman, real strange looking, locked in an outhouse, hidden in the Braithwaite Manor. A uh, world ain't kind for a place like her. Like her for... Whatever. You know what I mean. We know. And I thought I knew she was so extra strange hobbies. Met a one-legged um, man. War veteran. Interesting fella. Said I could come by the cabin on the other side of... Oh, Krega's run? Maybe I will. Took medicine to that creepy pair as they poisoned themselves. Oh, something... Proper. They survive, but I doubt they'll make it for much longer, like a pair of circus clowns. Mm. What is this? Oh, Emmett Granger! Oh, yeah. I cannot think of a single man I've enjoyed seeing dead more than this bastard. Pig shit and hatred, and he still threw a knife at me. Nice. He's an animal. Mm-hmm. Um, got a letter from Mary. Oh, what did I expect? What did I want? Weren't never meant to be and never really was and yet somehow in the end I discovered I had a heart because it was broken Oh you fool you sad deluded fool torn in two by ideas of who you were and it turns out you weren't neither of them mm. Arthur poor guy Destroyed those charms went back to the village and now the shaman announces things are worse because I destroyed the charms Remarkably convenient. I was about to give him a beating when he ran off the elder said the shaman was interested in a mine shaft. Perhaps it's worth a look Saw the downs kid being beaten up so I helped him maybe I shouldn't have killed the poor father I cared so goddamn much if I cared so goddamn much what a conflicted fool I've become or always have been then I tried to rescue his mother who is in the process of getting herself murdered maybe she wanted that I don't know she looked at me like what I am a killer seeking out salvation only I'm not I don't want saving I don't deserve it I just want to help a few folk and sure as shit I owe her 
felt like a fraud and a fool, but at least I did something. Found a fella caught in a bear trap a while back, decided on a whim to save him, then bumped into him in town. Guy gave me a store credit as thanks. Guess sometimes it helps to pay folks. Uh, blew up a bridge with Marston, either to stop the army killing us quite so easily when we attempted to rob this last train, or because we want to encourage Uncle Sam to send another train full of payroll for us to rob. Whole thing seems even more ludicrous and moth-eaten when I write it down. Dutch is now acting crazy, and I'm acting crazy back. I'm facing death and acting foolish. I hope Marston uses his brain. The, the time for heroics and loyalty for, to people is over. The time for acting right and saving the innocent, not the guilty. I think we're almost here. Oh, nice little picture, huh? Yep. That's what happened. Okay. Went to speak to the chief about the situation. I helped him recover some precious things from the army. He gave me some medicine, which helped me a little. He's a man who not so long ago... Oh, yeah, we saw that. Now I see him as wise and thoughtful and sensible. I would love to help him or at least stop Dutch. Went to see that fella, Hamish. He's quite a sportsman and outdoorsman. Went fishing for a pike. Got him in the end. Wants to take me hunting. Hamish, not the pike. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> Went to the mine looking to figure out what had, what that weird sh shaman has over that village. I don't know why exactly. It just seemed important, I guess. The whole place was filthy and something nasty was leaking into the water and soil. I'm no expert that that stuff might explain why all the folk in Butcher Creek are so odd. Anyway, I made my way back to the village armed with this knowledge and... A little of the evil looking water lo and behold I find the shaman trying to force the duped elder into signing away him and his village's property rights or rights to get a mining company to leave it was not quite clear which the sham shaman starts attacking me so I force him to drink some of the water and he runs off he admits all promptly loses his mind and I'm waiting around to be treated like the hero I am or not. The villagers blamed the curse at this point. I left him to their dreams of specters. Okay, and now we are, um, yes, we're caught up. You're like, thank God. <laughs> that was a lot of reading. Wow, it was a lot of reading, I'm sorry. Not your fault. And we're leaving. Yeah. Ooh. Honey, don't make me look bad, please. So we're in Strawberry right now. Yes. And we're looking for the body so. Yes, but someone says I should start at the train station. So oh, that's, that's where we're going. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right, y'all. Okay, so here we are. We're at the train station, right? Yep. Okay. Here we are. And let me go, you shift bit, son of a bitch! What the hell? This is a family. Oh my god! Shit, come on, honey, we gotta go save that lady. I've been caught up by cocksuckers! Yes, you have, I'm coming, I'm coming! No! Arthur, please! She's gonna die, probably. Probably. Go, 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 come on, come on. Here they are, here they are. Hey, wait, come back, actually. No, please come back. You're okay. Where are you going? I can't keep sniffing this thing's ass! Come on! Don't be rude, I'm trying to help you. I'm trying! Uh, I don't know how to help you, honestly. Oh, oh, oh. Excuse me! I don't know how to help you, I'm not gonna lie. Something weird's happening and I don't understand! Can I grab her off the horse? No, let me get her. Oh no, 
it doesn't work that way. You gotta get off that rock. Hey. Oh, there it is. There it was. Yay. God, Arthur, be a little Let more gentle. I'm trying, girl. What? I just got bad karma for that. Next time. Wow. Why? What did he say? I got. Wait, what? He said something. I don't, yeah, I don't know. The captions aren't on for some reason. Here's the stream. Come on, girl. So where is the station? Oh, which? Oh, okay, perfect. Actually, this is where I need to go. I think. Oh, oh, this station. Oh, okay. So I was at the wrong station. Wallace Station. Okay. Now we're going I thought Wallace it. was a person. I'm not going to lie. I did too. I thought he was playing music. Can I turn here? We're going. <laughs> I know, honey. I'm sorry. I'm off road. I know. I know. I actually had a dream about this game and Midnight died. Oh no, really? And I thought it, yeah, it felt so real. I was like, I cannot believe I killed Midnight. Oh, you're sad. Girl, it's okay. She said, obviously not. It's real, no, is it? Goddamn Chinaman, man. Tell me this map will have treasure. Oh. Strong up, Christ. Oh, mister. You lay with Bertha, too? Bertha? Uh, no. Well, what's that you got there, map? You ain't interested in no scrap paper. It's nothing. Just something for wiping and sniffing in the night. Yeah. Well, I got to go now. Hey, why the hurry, partner? If I got a hot tail, don't you follow me now. <laughs> All right, I will. Yep. Fine. Got better things to do. Jesus Christ. Yeah, exactly. Way too busy for you. Yep. Now, here we go. Oh, it's raining? Ew, I'm gonna have to find out what about it. I always get nervous going over bridges. We gotta get off her a hat also. Okay. Noted. I'm gonna... Easy. There we go. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh, this is a snake. Whoa, whoa, easy. Girl, we're on a cliff. You better not be, you know, acting too crazy. I didn't know this area was strawberry. I knew. Who knew, you know? Don't you know? Girl, it's okay. Let me calm her down. Do you have a knife out, Arthur? Please put it away. He's always got something out. You know, sacred and sorry. Oh, yeah. Okay. We're near a stream. Yeah. Got any good bodies laying around? Don't drink the water, you guys. There's a dead body. It yeah. tastes so good. Oh, no, that's kind of messed up. It's so foggy. I don't want it to be foggy when I find this body. You know? It's not going to help, that's for sure. That is for sure. It's 3 a.m. Oh boy, 3 a.m. Yeah. 
I guess I should look where I'm going. Probably. Stay honey, you stay here. Yeah, you do. Yeah, I do. Because I don't think I have any meat. Nope. Wow. Oop. Don't drink that rum. Okay. Let's oh. that. Was... Yeah. Don't know if that was great for you to drink right now, but. Oh, yeah. Wait. Actually. Oh, that actually. It might be a Porsche. I can't tell from here. What is that noise? What is that? Maybe a bear? Maybe. He better not attack me. Oh, he will. If he gets a chance. up there is it i can't tell what that is honestly can't okay enough it. with the freaking stop sorry about that where'd you go there you are thank you uh skin i don't know if i should have done that i don't know gross It's not you, it's awful. Exactly, it is. Did I get, okay, good, I got some meat. Nice. Plump bird meat. Plump. Arthur likes his birds real thick and juicy. Yep. Literally. Mm-hmm. Literally. Okay. Now we will make a little camp right here. And wait till morning to find that body. Yum. Ooh, Arthur's beard's looking good. Uh, he's Which not hungry Which is a little right bushy now. to me. Really? Yeah. He'd be nice to my man. I'm sorry, he looks dirty. Sleep. Four. I just want it to be morning. Oh, it's already morning right now. Well, okay. I guess I'm going to wait. What time is it? 5 a.m. So it'll be, uh, the sun will be out soon. Uh, tear down camp. Mm. Okay. We have to focus. Okay. So. We're at the station to see our friend Wallace, right? Yep. Wallace, you got any big rocks nearby? Or streams? Maybe here. Or that. No, that's a stream, isn't it? I would say so. Okay. Okay. Honey, get over here, please. Why are we not going to the train station? Because I think it was just, he, uh, they were saying that it's near. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry that I'm really sorry that that just happened to you. Poor thing. I know. I'm sorry. Hmm. Hate it. 
And I looked at when you were still doing it. Too. <laughs> we thought Arthur worked quicker than that. Yeah, we did. Poor Del dear Del. <laughs> okay. All right, honey. Is she gonna put that on his back? Uh -huh. No, 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 I'm not. Am I? Oh, I didn't even realize I had it in my hand. Sorry. I literally just wanted the meat. I kind of forgot that it gives you. Now we can see. Good morning. Gorgeous. Okay. So. It says there's a dead body over here. Oh, it does? Mm-hmm. Oh, boy. <gasps> Is this it? Yes. Do you see? What am I seeing? Yeah, he's pinned upside down. Oh. Yeah. Okay, let's find it's here. Here it is. It always is. We always get on, the, like, find this guy. Okay. Jesus. This is some sick tran. Uh. I think it said, can you find me or something like that. Piece together treasure map. Let's take a look-see, shall yeah, we? I think we shall. All three pieces of the map. Use the map to locate the killer's hiding place. Okay, it's over a bridge. It's in this house, and then that's the combination, I guess, to get in, huh? But okay. what bridge is it over? Oh, shit, I, did, I wanted to look. One second, I wanted to look at the back. I think it says, can you find me? Yep, good memory. I forgot that already. Bridge, house, combination. Any chance it's gonna give me a hint? Don't look like it. No such luck. No such luck. Well, at least we found it finally. Mm -hmm. Yes, we did. All right, honey bunches of oat. Well, actually, wait. Let's do a camp. Cause then we're gonna fast travel after I cook some food. Okay. Fast traveling is currently the name of the game. I like it. Mm-hmm. So you got all that long ride. Oh, you don't like whenever we, you know, have to talk to each other and spend time with midnight? No, I like all that, but I just don't like it as long as it is sometimes. Interesting. Very. He can eat this. Enjoy, Arthur. You are into <coughs> handsome. Even though it looked disgusting. You gonna lend me this or store it for later? Store it for later. You only get so much, huh? Mm-hmm. Because unfortunately, we're not the best hunters, so we have to ration our food. Yes. Fast travel. Sand and a. Where is it? Where is sand and a? There it is. Oh my god. Stretch them bones. Sure. I wonder why. Would you be lifting? Nothing. Spirits. Oh wow. Get it? Not really. I've been lifting spirits. Oh nice. I like it. Thanks, Mom. Yeah, 
wanted to buy. Wanted, dead or alive. Don't be mad, but we're gonna read his journal because he wrote something, so I'm gonna see if he gives me a hint on where to fucking find this killer. Found another body. Some maniac is killing these people for sport. Guess I'm gonna pay him or her a visit. See, Arthur's like, a woman could be a killer too. Yeah. Let's find the church. Gavin ever found his friend. What are you doing? Okay. Well, yes, I would, sister. Mr. Morgan. Hello. Hello, sister. Brother Dorkins and I were talking about you just the other day and hoping we would see you again. How is Brother Dorkins? Oh, he's quite well. A little frustrated with the workings of our order. He keeps trying to be sent overseas, you know, do something with more challenge, maybe uh, be a missionary. He's a lovely man. Sure. And how are you? Uh, never better. Are you sure? Uh, I'm quite sure, sister. You know, a long time ago, I was like you. I very much doubt that. Oh, no, I did terrible things, awful things. And I could not stop doing terrible things because I did not believe that goodness existed. And then one day, I saw that love did exist. And ever since then, doing bad things became, well, not impossible, but ridiculous. I guess I'm just hoping for a dignified exit. I shall pray for you. Oh, I'm not a religious man, sister. I'm an outlaw. <laughs> What fun. Religion is just a word. Hearts are rarely pure, but equally they are rarely impure I either. I know. Well, that's an interesting way of putting it. To me, God is people and people are God, so we must all do what we can. These people are starving. Go find them some food. Don't worry so much about your heart. The actions will lead. And the heart follows. I'll still think of you in very nasty terms, as you wish. I think, he just I think she wants him to donate food, so. Yeah, she does. Um, I can offer. Let's see. I'm gonna offer that because it does less for me. How much do I need to offer? I thought she was asking for a deer or something. Oh. Wait. Oh, did I just fucking donate? Oh, fuck. I just donated the fucking venison. Oh, no. Did you? Well, she wanted me. You gave it to her. You know what, sister? I think I've already got plenty of food on me. They could just eat mine. <laughs> you are wonderful, Mr. Morgan. Now, that ain't true. Oh, I meant wonderful, but... Oh my god. So I wish that knocked over. I As you wish. Really like Consider your good deed done for the day. I won't subject you to any more benevolence. Well, thank you. Sister Ethel makes a fabulous tea. They will be so happy. Bye. Well, anyway. I must focus on the work at hand. Okay. I'm sorry. I'll see you later. I'm going to see if this guy... Have you anything to spare? I want to see if this guy's okay. Hey, how you doing? Hello, mister. Ah. Are you okay? I'm still standing on my own Okay. Hey, he got hit by a horse. Oh, did he? How did you saw that? Yeah, I heard a noise, and then I looked back, and he had gotten, like, hit. Okay, so we went to see the nun. We did the body. We don't know where the body is, though. That being said. Let me see the index, actually. No, it doesn't doesn't give me a hint. Okay, so do you want to go see Eagle Flies, which is the one that Dutch is kind of like manipulating, or mm -hmm. Captain Monroe? Captain Monroe. Do you even know who Captain Monroe is? No. Yeah. That's why I want to go see him. You always do the quests. I have a funny feeling you wanted to do the other one. No! <laughs> <laughs> Actually, is there a store nearby? 
like a, a general store in this place. Cause gritty <gasps> meat. Look at this long ride. Oh my God. Mm. Uh, I just want some food since my food just got stolen by poor people. Stolen. Wow. I know you're telling me. Okay, it looks like if I just go down this road. It looks like me. it was far away. Is it not far away? Not the general store, no. Oh, good. No, I don't want to jump to his horse. Arthur, stop eyeing his horse up. <gasps> pardon. You should say pardon. Freaking hitting my horse. Okay, here we go. Let's buckle up. I'm gonna buy everything I can. Hello there. To Welcome to Horner and Co. Hi. Shelves are all labeled up top. You don't see something? Just check the catalog. Okay, I'm gonna Lots check. Lots of good supply in there. There's no food. Oh yeah, provisions is food. Duh. Duh. Fresh food, right? That's the yes. best for our therm. Definitely. Good, good. You get those apples for a midnight or for I'm still. Just everything i'm just buying everything you know yeah you got it <coughs> you have quite the grocery All bag here uh -huh. okay there we go you already sold up chocolate let's get ours some chocolate yes it. get him some chocolate okay and candy all right Oh, he's getting mad. He's like, okay. No, he's just taking all his sock. <laughs> all right, let's see what we got for our little baby. Let's make sure we have some horse survivor. <gasps> oh, no. You bought it all? He's or out. Bought it all? Really? Oh, I already have enough. Okay, good. Did you buy all that or somebody else bought it? No, I think it's saying sold out because I'm full. Like, I can't take it anymore. Oh, okay. Thanks, well, mister. Good. Thanks for your assistance. Come on, honey. Okay, right on. What are we doing? Mister. Mister. Oh, sir. Okay, come on, honey. I don't want you to kick him. Hey, don't touch my horse's butt. Be back then. Parker? Oh, he's trying to get to you. Okay, there we go. Come on, little lady. Okay. Girl. Now, Mom, buckle in, because this is going to be a long ride. Oh, is it? Yes, it's a freaking really long ride. I just saw it on the map. Goddamn government. So let's just blow in a building. Mm hmm. That was nice and fast. I love it. Mm hmm. Why Me don't too. we fast travel everywhere? Because, you know, we got to be cowboys a little bit, okay? A little. Howdy, partner. Hello, Mr. Morgan. Here I am, as promised. <laughs> Just keep on doing what you're doing. Is there a sick little boy? Oh, I can come over. Captain Monroe. Of course. The chief's going out trying to find medications. It's quite a business. Yes. I thought we were through with all this. We are, mostly. Colonel Favors seems to think the natives have broken some promise they never made, and apparently he's punishing them by withholding vaccines sent down by the federal government. Really? I was supposed to oversee the administration of vaccines. Now I hear the wagon's been diverted. Why would he do such a thing? <sighs> to be honest, I truly don't know. They say he didn't have a very good war, so maybe he's trying to start another one. Is that what you think? I'm trying to find out. He knows I'm trying to find out. He'd love to provoke me almost as much as he'd love to provoke these poor bastards. Meaning? Meaning that despite the fact that I think he's a horse's ass, he knows I think that. So we're just stuck here trying to make the best of things. This is the best of things. Children dying of diseases. No. This is awful. Where is this wagon? Where can we find it? I can show you. It's 
supposed to be heading to a PD after coming up through Valentine, but it's been diverted south instead. Come on, Captain Monroe. Uh, Mr. Morgan, we must act with due caution. Oh, we shall. We surely shall. Now come. Okay. I think I know a spot where we should be able to intercept it. Hey, the way, Captain. Let's give her, what do you want to give her? Oat cake, corn, apple, pear, peach, peppermint, sugar cube, something root, bush, mace, ginseng, sage. Let's give her a sugar cube for a change. There we go. So this Colonel Fate, he knows you're up here helping these people? Yes and no. He knows I'm here to produce a report on the situation. I was sent down from the north after all the news of unrest in the region. But I think my presence might be making things worse. What do you mean? I worry he's taking some of these actions more to protect himself now. If he can incite more retaliation, maybe he can prove a stronger defense. Well, like destroying that shrine. Yes, and taking their horses. I mean, I don't know if he personally sanctioned any of this or not. This is the other problem. There's a culture now in his regiment. Rot has traveled down the trunk. Okay. Well, just show me where to find this wagon, and I'll get the medicine for it. You don't need to be involved. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. But I must ask you, please be discreet. We really cannot afford more conflict. I'm still hoping a meeting can be arranged between Rain's Falls and Colonel Favors. I understand. So I should drop the wagon back at the reservation? Oh, no. No, no, no. You only need to commandeer the vaccine. Stealing those and an army wagon will only make matters much worse. Okay. Okay. You know, Favors has many flaws, but I don't believe he's callous. More an insecure man at the end of his career trying to cling on to something that's already gone. He fought for the Union in the war, and his record was considered far from illustrious. A failed man is often the most dangerous. Let's cut up this way. Sure. There's a nice vantage point up at the top here. I want to see what a baby horse looks like. How are we going to see that? Look it up on the internet. Oh, you've never seen a real baby horse? I don't think so. I thought you were talking about it in the game. I've seen a baby giraffe. I'm assuming they're similar. Can find a baby horse. Okay, a let's pony. dismount here. Best leave the, the horse back. Oh, I've seen a pony. We'll have a good view oh, over the road from this ledge. Yeah, new okay. one. The wagon should come along this way. Okay. You're a good man, Mr. Morgan, but I fear this task to be a fool's errand. Well, firstly, I'm a long way from a good man. <laughs> Secondly, fool's errands are my favorite kind of work. Fair <laughs> enough. In that case, I can see we shall be great friends. <laughs> May I ask you a question? Of course. Why don't you just tell all the folk up in Washington what kind of an idiot Colonel Favors is and save us all a lot of bother? <laughs> uh, unfortunately, the government doesn't work quite like that. If you say so. There. I think that's the wagon. All right. Get yourself out of here. Just remember to keep it clean, understand me? Don't worry, I'm as clean as they come. No, I'm not. All I do is clean. Ways. Well, good luck. Thank Don't you. meet you back at the reservation. Try not to get yourself killed, Mr. Morgan. No, no, I, oh, I, I can't promise. Can't promise. Oh my god, I thought you were the egg. Everybody's gonna be crazy. Uh oh, including me, baby. Yep. Especially you. Hey, you! 
Keep your distance. Sorry. Do you want to get shot? Is that it? No. That's it. Shoot that bastard already. Be careful with my horse, you asshole. Oh my god, whoa, fuck. My ho horse's health! <gasps> Shit, my wow. horse. You better never shoot my horse. Oh my god, honey. Shit, I can't do it again just yet. I gotta sit back down. He's like, okay. Okay, now I'm gonna get my lasso. I don't know if this is gonna work, but we're gonna try. Look who we got here! Free fire! Ah! Ah! You're good at dead. This is it. It's all good for you. Can I hot time, please? Hot time, Arthur! Why would it let me? No, sir. fucking this up bad. <laughs> well, I don't. They told me to keep it clean. Yeah. God, Arthur. Okay. Go, 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 go. Stop shooting me! Go, Arthur, go. Wow. Bro, why can't I hogtie this guy? He's really annoying me. Perfectly, exactly how I want it. Oh, I'm sure. Yeah. Watch it. Driving like a drunk monkey again. <laughs> Just trying to get away. It's not a full moon, you crazy ass. Oh, it's not? I must have seen the bottom of the screen. I don't know what that's called. Uh, it looks like a waning. Something. Moon. More than I do. I think that's whenever it's like coming, not going full, but going to not full. I thought it was called Half Moon. I don't know, maybe. Maybe. That's what Find it is. Find out next time. Shouldn't be called that. That's what it is. I agree. I hope these people aren't gonna like actually follow me home. You know, because that'd be bad if they follow me back to the reservation. Yeah. That wouldn't be so clean. No, not at all. Christ, I'm scared. Let's start to cut. <gasps> My God! Oh, yeah. Fuck! I hope they're not gonna come. Oh, Hurry, start the cutscene. Start the cutscene. Where are you? What the? Oh, hell. Oh, Captain shit. Monroe. I hope I didn't. I got the medicine. Oh, wonderful. That's great news, Mr. Morgan. Yeah, well, don't worry. It uh. It didn't go too bad. I'll have to take your word for I that. Made it yeah, I'm gonna take that shot. Both about swing times. for this. <laughs> yeah, well, 
I think I'm a little past caring about Ham, Monroe. Maybe. I just hope Colonel Favors thinks he was robbed by bandits and not... Oh, no, I'm still a bandit. There ain't no doubt about that. Of course. Well, I better get to work. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. You're welcome. Bandit or not, this was a good thing. Maybe it'll get us both killed, but it had to be done. I hope so. Okay. Great. TPs look cool in it now. Yeah, they do. Okay. Thank you. All right. So what's next? We can go see Trelawney or we can go see Eagle Flies. It's your turn to pick. I just picked last one. Let's do Eagle Flies just because we've had that on our map. Oh, we can go see Charlotte. We'll go see Charlotte. Yeah, that sounds fun. Sorry, Eagle Flies. You're getting kicked to the curb by a pretty... What else was up there? There was something else up there. What was that? Oh, it's this guy, but someone told me that, honestly, his missions, like, aren't even worth doing. Oh, really? Yeah. Then let's not do it. Why is Arthur... What time is it? Arthur's going to this lady's cabin at 1 a.m.? Okay, that's a little sketchy. Arthur, you have tuberculosis, I think. We shouldn't be doing any strenuous activity. Yeah. Or kissing people. I was gonna say, what do you think he's gonna do when he gets there? At 1 a.m.? Nothing wow. good. Aren't you the one that told me nothing good happens past 10 p.m., right? Yes. There's a lot more to that saying, but I'm not gonna say it. Okay. Because it's not pretty. Really? Oh my god, now we're all wondering what the rest of the saying is. I know. Is. I like to keep you wondering. Oh, I know what it is. Oh, Only yeah. thing open past 10 p.m. is thighs and bars? That's one way of putting it. Yeah. Got the wrong man. See what happens when you say your disgusting sayings? You upset everybody, Mom. I did. Guys, I literally was not even. But now I will kill you. I don't want to, but I have to. Oh, shit. You don't want to do I guess I will. He's the right Another home. hostage situation now. Yeah, but he probably was a criminal. I don't know why, but he gives me criminal vibes. Actually, I don't know. He looks pretty fancy. Jesus. Thank you. They had me mixed up with my brother. Really? I, I don't got no money. You. But the Valentine doctor does. Something shady going on in his shop out here. Really? Okay. Thanks, mister. Oh, okay. Well, just get out of here before someone else comes looking. Nice. Honey, I'm sorry you had to see that. Yep. Oh, wait, that's not my horse. Who is this? Oh, this it is. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I saw the, the wow. brown fur on the back. Don't even recognize me now. <laughs> Damn, Charlotte, you live yeah. out in the middle of nowhere, girlfriend. She lives in legendary animal territory. <laughs> oh god, I wanted dead or alive. Well, at least it's 4 a.m. Some people are up this time. Yeah. God, I know. I'm riding three hours to go see this lady? Arthur must really like her. I think so. What are you doing out, mister? Yeah, what are you... Did you just come from Charlotte's house? You better not have. <laughs> Charlotte's quite the entertainer. Okay. We're passing Marco Dragic's house. Ah, Marco Dragon. He was just so mean during the first quest. I really don't even care to do another one of his, you know? I remember him. He was the guy that we did the boat. Um, okay, there's a deer. There's a death wish. Um, he was the one that, um, the deer. Oh, sorry, what am I talking about? Oh my god, it's pouring rain like the last one of the other times I went to the freaking house. Um, but anyways, sorry. He is 
the guy who we did the little boats in the water and blew things up. Yes. But then he was super mean, remember? Yes. He was a friggin' total jerk. Charlotte! I'm here when it's pouring rain again! I know, I know, I know. Rain can be romantic, but it don't what feel like it's not. Something over there. Yes, it does not feel romantic at all right now. It feels like, Jesus Christ, let me in this house. My, my. You I was wondering when I was going to see you again. You look different. Well, the rigors of simplicity take their toll on a woman. Oh, no, I didn't mean no, it. I know. Things are going well. I couldn't have done it without you. No. You did it all yourself. <coughs> So how are you holding up? Uh, I'm still standing, which is an improvement on the last time you saw me. I wish that there was something else that I could do. Ma'am, you have done more than enough. Please, call me Charlotte. Arthur. I feel like Arthur you're gonna kiss. Moore. Well, you take care of yourself, Arthur. <gasps> I was kind of where you was. <laughs> Oh my god, you seem smart. Yeah, so smart. Smell. Yep. That's all we came out here for? Please go on in and help yourself okay. to anything you need. What's mine is yours. Oh. Well, that's very kind. Oh lord, we're gonna loot her. No, we're not. Okay. That'll be nice. Why I guess you, I'm leaving, huh? Why don't you go get some soup? Okay. I need something warm. Uh -oh. Alright, let's see what you got. Oh, she got some premium cigarettes. I am gonna take that. Don't take my premium cigarettes, please! Oh, put your knife away. Oh my god, Arthur, Jesus Christ. Okay, let's see. Uh, not tonics. Where are my cigarettes? Where do you keep your cigarettes? Provisions, I guess. Oh, there. Is that it? No, that's crackers. You know cigarettes at the bottom? Yeah, right there. Uh, discard all. Oh, geez. Actually, he does need some food. He's tired. Why are you discarding all of them? Uh, because someone told me that you might as well just do that because you can get them so easily. Oh. Inspect card. Let's see who we got. Oh, how beautiful. Wow. Yarrow. Oh, we saw Yarrow, didn't we? Yeah. Nice. Oh, it's sun sunny outside now. More premium cigarettes. Oh, she's got two of them up there. Inspect card. Famous gunslinger. Inspect card, please. Okay, you're making it hard on me, huh? Who is this guy? Billy Min- OMG, what are the odds? We killed him! Oh, nice. Yes, very <laughs> nice. Come on, I don't want the gin. I guess I'll take the gin. She's like, oh my god, you asshole, you stole up. Yeah. Can I not take those premium cigarettes? They're right there. You gotta leave her something. No, I don't. Over my dead body. I want them. There we go. Okay, then I won't take anything else, okay? Good. I'm taking enough. Ooh, pretty lady, Leela. Okay, now we're leaving. Is there any food, actually, that I could eat? Okay, we're leaving. It's not. Is that, is that her diary? No, it's not. Okay. Now we're leaving. Goodbye, Oh, that was creepy. You're trying to keep me in here, you dirty dog. Charlotte, it was a pleasure meeting you. You too, Arthur. Please be well. You too. Oh, my dead eye is red. Let's eat some. You should have plenty to eat. Mm-hmm. Where's my, there it is. And Arthur is quite the hoarder. <laughs> yes, he is. He'd be nice to my hoarder. Okay, now we will go see Eagle Flies. How about that? About time. Oh, I can go see Hamish again, but let's do Eagle Flies first, okay? Okay. Cumberland, oh my God. Oh, actually, it's closer to Valentine, so let's fast travel to Valentine. How about that? Sounds good. We're really getting used to 
So it, it doesn't cost any money to fast travel? Mm -mm. Then why wouldn't everybody just fast travel? Because some people like to just ride, you mm -hmm. know? Because okay. of the scenery and stuff. She's like, Arthur, I'd prefer if you didn't camp in my front yard. Oh, he's got a tent this time. Yeah, he does. He doesn't usually you like have that? a tent. I do. A nice fire. Mind if I warm my bones? Oh my god. Sure. Y'all knew this is Murphy Hills. You should be careful where you're camping. I can look after myself. Besides, it's a free country. Free country? <laughs> no. Everything bought and paid for. <laughs> and we gonna protect what's ours. Y'all be careful where you wander. Okay. Come on. Let's go. I think you got the message. Go kill you next time. <laughs> well, what was that about? Just one room of up here? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Oh, okay, anyways, we I need to freaking fast travel. Rest by fire. I'm gonna shoot those rocks. <laughs> Sorry, my adrenaline was pumping. <laughs> okay. Oh no, I just fucking. I just fast traveled to the wrong place. I saw it. Thank you. Fast traveling is not for the weak. No, it's not. There's a random mission here, isn't there? Stranger mission, you wanna go see? Yeah. We're never going to fucking see eagle flies. No. <coughs> Arthur. Now's not the time. What's up? Uh oh, mister. <laughs> Looking like that. You look like you're having fun. Mm -hmm. I don't understand. What am I supposed to do here? Would anyone like to approach me? Careful, big man. Arthur, stop talking shit. Come on, Bertram, please. No. Bertram, say no. Oh, that's nice. That's very nice. Friends for life, we said. And now the two of you have betrayed me at okay? once. Imagine saving people, Girl. taking them to your breast, and metaphorically, I mean, like a mother, caring and raising them, and then they go and stab you in the back. Have you ever betrayed a close friend? I hope not. Well. Treachery. And these are sad, low, unlovable people. And oh, I made them stars, dreamers, entertainers. And they, oh no, now family's not enough. No, no, he's gone off alone. My little oh, tiny magician has gone and stabbed his mom on the back. Oh, fuck it, he. Oh. No, Bertram, 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 woof, woof, Bertram. Um, uh, e e e easy there. Uh, easy there! What a hairdo. Sorry! Bertram! Easy, big guy. Uh. Oh, Listen, I don't want to do this. Nice. Hey, hey. Nice. You missed all my to deal with this. I am dealing with this, ma'am. Good. Ooh, you got me good, huh? You're in a lot of trouble, young man. Mean man. I'm not being mean. I'm sorry about this. That was horrible, Bertram. He had it coming. Oh yes, Marjorie's here. No one's gonna hurt you ever again. Oh my. You should keep that thing in a cage. 
You should think about who you're serving. Give me a beer, will you? Don't worry, we'll pay for <laughs> what we grow. <laughs> Come here, Bertram. Oh, no one looks after you like Mama does. No one cares for you like I do. Especially not that Magnifico. Hmm? But he's my friend. Yes, well, if he were your friend, he'd be here, wouldn't he? He wouldn't have abandoned us. Oh, you wouldn't have gotten that whoopsie, would you? Whoopsie heart. I know. Mama's gonna make it all better. But first, you gotta tell me where that little worm ran off to, hmm? The Bertram promise. Yes, well, Magnifico made a promise, too, huh? He made more than a promise. He made a contract, and he broke it. So you just tell me exactly where he is, and then we will all be even. That's my boy. He's camping in the woods. Why didn't you tell me in the first place? You just apologize to these men. I'm sorry. Yeah. I'm sorry. It's OK. You gave me a whoopsie. Hey, you just stay away from that sherry now, you hear? Bertram like sherry. Oh, don't you get him started. Thank you for all of your help, Mr. Stranger. If you see that slippery little fella sleeping rough out there, would you just make a little racket and then we'll come along and we'll find you? I could try. Oh, his name is Magnifico. You'll know him when you see him. Come along, Bertram. That was funny. Yeah, it was. I'm glad we came in here. I know. There's your beer. So much for that. Yeah. Hey there, good the looking. Would you like some company? Um. Decline, reject. Not right now. Thank you, you don't girl. know a good thing when you see it. I'll rob you. Anyway, how's it going with you? That's life. <laughs> I guess so. Okay. Okay, girl. You want to go find him in the, uh, it, go find that guy? Yeah. Where is he? Magnifico, where are you? Where are you? Oh, you're over there. Okay, sure. And then we'll go camping, and then we'll go see Eagle Flies, okay? okay. Deal? Deal. Dill. Dill pickle. See, everything happens for a reason. If I wouldn't have accidentally, you know, come here, we wouldn't have even that fun little quest. I know. What is this? What is this? A little burnt down uh, destroyed camp or something. Looks like it. Oh. Jeez. I don't think there's nothing to loot. Mm -mm. You just want me to go the hell away? Wow. Well, yeah. Pretty rude. Get out just get out of there. How could you? Where the hell are you, mister? I don't got all damn day. What? Is someone dead over here? Two people. What happened? Oh no. Oh, it's these fucking idiots. <laughs> these here are city folk. Something tells me you didn't strike this camp. Something's up. My dead eye, I'm really using it. Yeah, you are. Guess we'll drink some more freaking alcohol. Jeez. Oh. Stay drunk half the time. I know my little alcoholic art. Oh, I've got friends, dude. Don't come out of here. God damn it! <laughs> Honey, it's okay. Oh, I just got my last round. That was really great, Arthur. You never know when you need it. God, this guy, Magnifico, was like, oh my god! Who is this crazy man? Where are you? Am I missing you? Oh, he's over here. Magnifico! What's going on, mister? Boom! What was that? Oh, that's amazing. If you say so. Are you, uh, ah! are you Magnifico by any oh, chance? I'm Magnifico. not going back. She's a witch. She's a witch. Who? Presta. 
Marjorie. Well, he cares about you a lot. Well, I'm the talent. It's me. It's all me. I share the money with her and, uh, you know, that thing. No, stay away. You've made love to her, haven't no, you? That's not She's it. a succubus. She's a succubus. Ah! Ah! Stay nice. away from me. I don't know what a succubus is. Oh, I don't want to hey, chase this guy. We want him. Come back here. <laughs> He's like a magician. I see that. Who's that? Are, running off? Are they really running slow? Oh shit, where'd he go? I literally did lose him. Where the fuck did he go? Where did he go? Over here? Hey, will you talk? I'm going it alone. Where did he go? Fuck, I really did lose him. He he just just oh, he's over there, he's over there, he's over there. You're good, mister. I'll be top of the bill. Oof. God, he runs so fast! You're starting to irritate me. Oh, three places at once. He is a magician. What the hell are you pulling here? You're here. I'm going to find you. <coughs> oh, yeah. Very clever. Oh. It's steak dinners and dancing too strong. Can you shoot him? Oh, I... Uh -uh. No, I think he's supposed to live. Oh, okay. <laughs> Damn it. This isn't good for Arthur's lungs, sir. No, it's not. Now where you gone? Oh, Magnifico! Man. Can't magic out of this, partner. Come on now, she ain't as bad as all that. Maybe she is. Yeah, mister. He's good at playing hide and seek. Yes, he is. He's killing it. He may be gone. Oh, no. Over here, dummy. You just said something. Stop, you're being really mean. Okay, good. I love that it told me. Good, because I couldn't find him. Oh, he's up in a tree! Well, you led me on a merry old dance. Come on down now. Lady said you had a contract. You want me? Come and get me! <laughs> hey, uh, hold on there! Ah. So Damn long, it. dummy! enough for a ticket pa. because the way big fanny tells it you spent all of our takings on a case of the french pox maybe i did so what what do you need a stub of a showman for same bad jokes the same cheap tricks in a package half the size you got bertram you got dummy over there who is dummy wow. anyway the missing link <laughs> oh, <laughs> shut up you <laughs> dimwit you sold me out you should watch your mouth you don't need me you're better off without me even you dummy Go on, clear off. Aim for the top, all of you. 
I'm out of food and I'm out of ideas. Leave me for the bears. I won't be more than a mouthful. You robbed me. Oh. You robbed your brother. So you are going to be pulling rabbits out of your ass until you are as old as you are tiny. Put them up there. Oh, some friends, some friends. We ain't friends. Oh. We're family, as much Aww. as it pains me to say it. Family? Still after everything? Well, of course, you silly little man. And him? Let him have the bar, agree to help. Ah, sleeping rough don't suit me much. I know. Come to Mama. Oh, I did she miss you. Like mm -hmm. I know. Now, don't you ever run off on us like that again. Back together! Back together! Well, I'm glad it all worked out. Thanks to you. Thank him, boys. Thank you. Uh, thanks for nothing, dummy. No get in the back. Oh. We ought to give you a piece of the gate on our next show. You earned it. Huh? We'll be playing Saint Denis next. Check with the box office. Here. No one said anything about splitting the gate. Oh, shut up. Half man and half wit. Bye bye. What I done to deserve you too? That's a fat bunny going through. It is. Snow of the grease paint. Oh my god, my other horse is here. He's like, Dad! How does he keep doing that? Look at him. God, I hate him with his fucking red hair. Oh, I know, I forgot. Honey, that. let me give you a little pat. I'm sorry you're ugly. He's beautiful, except for the. No, the, yeah, the hair is too much. Blue water marsh. Okay. Let us, uh, la 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 la, make a camp. Eagle flies. Look at our horses! They're yeah, so nice. They agree with each other with everything they're saying. Oh, yeah, they're like, uh huh, yup, yup, yup. What time yep. did I say it was? I didn't pay attention. I'm terrible. Like, can you not pull it up again? I'm gonna sleep till nighttime because we're at that crossroads. So, I mean, if anything's happening, you know. Yep. It may just happen while we're here. Exactly. While we're here, we might as well check it out. Officially 2 a.m. Okay, we'll wait till 3, and then if nothing happens, I guess we'll leave. It's not sounding like nothing's gonna happen out here in train. What, is it something with the train? Oh, I thought it was. Oh, I don't know. It was over the train track, I thought. Oh, no, someone just said it's at this little crossroad. Midnight's like, let's get the heck out of here. She's like, I don't know what the hell you're doing. If you're done abusing me, let's go. Abusing you. Yep. Poor Midnight. Are well, you going to make it happen, huh? I'm like, all right, what the hell? What was that? I just got attacked by a fucking snake! Oh, oh my goodness. Shit. You're down for that, you son of a bitch. This will cause your health eat uh ginseng. Okay, so let's eat some ginseng. Oh my god, I can't believe I got bitten by a snake. A slithery, slithery Gross. snake. Gross. I know that is gross. Pretty horrible if you ask me. It is. I would have had heart failure. Did scare me a bit, I'm not gonna lie. Don't forget your hat. Okay, well, let me just eat some ginseng really quick. Where is my ginseng? Oh, here it is, okay. There it is. Okay, where's my hat? Gosh, I can't believe I got bit by a snake. Okay, pick up my hat. Alright, well. That's what happens when you're in the wrong place at the wrong time. I know, seriously. Literally, nothing is happening. Okay. <laughs> Surely we can do better than this. No, we can't. Times are rough. They are. Times are tough. I agree. You're nasty. Nasty, nasty. 
four snakes in streaming. You all right, girl? Oh, wait, no, actually. Well, it doesn't mean to do that. Okay. Oh, okay. Okay. Oh, jeez. Where's my little camp? Yeah. Down here, right? Is that it where the fire is? Yeah. And another camp. Oh, hello. Wow. You guys are not welcome in my camp. Okie dokie, you're a chokey. Now are we ready to go to Valentine? Yes. Wes. Another journal entry, huh? Yep. Oh my gosh, a random freaking event! No, Brother Brodus, you're simply not a gentleman. You're a scoundrel. Be quite frankly, talking like that in front of a lady. My friend. Yeah? What do you want? Do I look like a coward to you? No, you're probably I mean, obviously though. I do, because I look like that milksop there, but tis no matter. Can you help? Maybe. See? Even he is sick of hearing your nonsense, you afterthought of a child. I apologize, sir, for his smell. Why don't we come back here to somewhere more conducive to displays of utter gallantry and deep-seated inadequacy? Well, what did you have in mind? Shoot a bottle off my head, like William wow. Tell. This is getting silly. Very silly. The man is a moron. <laughs> Shoot one off mine instead. Hey, I'm the brave one. I'm not scared. Uh, I'm a good shot, but... I won't even flinch. I don't want to hurt you, boys. Oh, I can't lose. Either I'll prove my masculinity or die and be spared his company. Come, sir, please. Okay, then. <sighs> Listen, oh, I love just make sure sash. everyone knows she's you asked yeah. me to do this. Of course, of course, of course. You boys are ridiculous. Okay. Okay, who's, who's do I shoot off? I choose one of them, I'm guessing. Who do, who do you want me to shoot? Me both? I, oh, you want me to use some dead eye? Please. <laughs> that was fun. Ooh, what was? I feel like we didn't even do anything. Oh, of course you didn't. We all know you're hardly sentient at all. Another round, <laughs> smaller oh bottles, sir. Please. Oh what? Uh, I don't know. Please, this creature is unbearable. He needs silencing. You're crazy. Oh, my God. I'll do my best. As long as she witnesses that I'm doing this under duress. Oh, you boys are so silly. Let's use my other gun, actually. We're waiting for you, mister. Fire away! Oh, it's only letting me use the one. Oh god, I'm really nervous. Aim. Yes! Ha. Ha. Now I'll stand on one leg! Me too! Oh you my god! This time you kill the beast! He emerged fully formed from the swamps, Helen! Silence, you blackguard! Sir, shoot the wretch! Oh my god. Ooh. You're deranged. Shoot away, sir. My oh, bottle is. Should be okay. I'm sure I'm sure no. I'm doing targets. No! Careful. Oh, fuck. Oh, no! There you go. Excellent. 
Now do one while I hop. Do one while I turn somersaults. Uh, oh shoot me. Oh, give me the gun. Let me shoot him. For all mankind. Uh, I think me and the lady have had enough. Oh, I don't blame you, sir. This man's tongue, I would run too if I could. Here, for your skills and talents. Mm. How much are you getting? I'm going to say $10. Brother, I am going to walk Helen home. Don't follow us. She has an elderly aunt, and I fear the sight of you could finally finish her off. Helen, is this creep bothering uh, you? You two, come along. Oh, no, there aren't two. There's me and the lizard man. Please, my angel, do not aggregate us both together. Boy, you are too much. Too much, too much. She's like, no, I'm out of that. Nice. <laughs> $2.51. Wow. For all that, that's all I'm worth to them. That was it. Times are tough. Yeah, they are. They look like they have money, though. I agree. I agree, Mom. You know, I'm get, trying to give them the benefit of the doubt. But yes, you are. Don't look, who, look who's at the stable. Look, look at her. She's being so dramatic facing a wall. <laughs> She's like, ah, I wish my owner loved me. Okay, let's go. You crazy or something? Yes. We had some good times, Valentine. We really did, didn't we, Mama? Yes, and we'll be back. Maybe. Maybe not. Always. Always. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Usha, Usha. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Road and I'm not seeing it. Oh, there it is. So close. So close. So All right. What kind of trouble is Dutch getting this poor kid into? You need to listen to your father. Eagle flies. I don't think he has the common sense to do that. So good of you to join us. What's going on? Rebellion. The smell of cordite and integrity. It is a beautiful thing. What are y'all doing? An eye for an eye. We didn't start this, Arthur. They did. We? Oh, it surely is. Whatever it is you're planning, it ain't a good idea. They want you to fight. Nobody will be killed. We're just gonna trap a few of them in the valley, disarm them, tar and feather them, and remind them to leave these boys alone. You have energy for pranks? Come on, Arthur. Just tweaking Uncle Sam's nose a little. I need you to help me. That's all I ever do, Dutch. Look at this beautiful plant right here. Besides, it's perfect. People will see these boys. They won't notice us, and they'll think we're gone. Everyone will blame everything on the Indian problem, and we'll disappear up the river. That's so fucked but up. But first, we need to trap them in this pass. Help me dynamite up these trees. So, you're using them? No, sir. No. Never. But it is mutually beneficial to draw attention to one problem and avail over another. These are good people, but their situation is real complex. We ain't helping them. Sure we are. Come on, let's get this done. the dynamite you run the wire mm -hmm. what are all these flashing dots those are um the like the people just standing up on the hill up there okay i sent for some of that dynamite you and bill commandeered and van horn good work with that by the way bill played drunk the perfect man for the job I wish he'd talk to Dutch and be like, bro, what are you doing with Micah? Right. That would be interesting. Mm hmm All he would say is, I wish you two would get along. Yeah. Because that's all he ever says. True. So, you finally got to see Colm Hank. Yeah. After all those years, hard to believe. 
Oh, but it was worth the wait. Chief, we're tying up the loose ends, Arthur. One by one. We didn't do that, though. This is going to be quite the explosion. <laughs> yes, it is. Out of there. <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, blow it up while he's there. Hurry, I think I see some movement in the distance. The detonator's by me. Here, <sighs> they always My let Arthur do the detonator. Let us know mm -hmm. when they're near. You want to do it? They're coming now. No. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll tell you when. Oh, yeah, you push it. Patrol's a lot larger than we thought it was gonna be. <laughs> Don't worry. That's a good thing. Okay, that's the signal. Here they come. Stay low and quiet. You sure you don't want me to man that plunger, Arthur? No. I got it. Oh, remove the weight of the world from your shoulders for a minute. <laughs> like I said, we're just going to give them a bit of a scare. I, honestly, you made a good point with all that dynamite. There I bet some people are definitely gonna Looks die. Looks like yeah. more than we thought. It's fine. We're only here to talk and administer a little good old-fashioned humiliation. Oh my God, there's a ton of people. You're owed that, son, at the very least. Down. Wait for my lead, men. Everyone, just stay calm. We've got Arthur, the upper knows. hand here. Okay. I'll let you know. It should tell you when. Okay. They okay, passed the go. first charge. There you go, sure, sure. If we blow it now. Oh, okay, no, that's good. Put your hands up. You're surrounded. Nobody need get hurt. Your humiliation of us has gone on quite enough. This ain't a good idea. Put down your guns. You are making a mistake, boy. No. You're making a mistake. Put your hands up, soldier. Take a little humiliation and leave these fine folks alone. Who are you? A concerned citizen. Is that so? What now? We should move. No, 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 not quite yet. Soldier, you and your friends gonna tuck tail and run off? Run! Excuse me? I'm getting bored of this. Your friends fired first, soldier! The father won't be happy about it. <laughs> Chefs and bullies, watch your goddamn mouth. <gasps> All of you, take what you can, and then we move out. Move now. We have to move now. Search these men quickly, then we move. This is crazy. Why aren't we getting out of here? They might have information on them that'll help our friends with their cause. We need anything my father can use to strengthen our case. Yeah, I'm sure I ain't sure gonna much is going to strengthen your case after this. Find anything? Yes. Some poor fool from New Jersey. These boys ain't the problem. They're only kids. Keep looking. Everyone, keep your heads 
gone. What do we do here? Sir? What are you trying to do? A lot of men. Just hold your ground. Surrender, and they'll hang you all. You want to fight with any of our life? Try to break them, Arthur. We'll shoot you some space. Yes, we need to take out that cannon. Where's Peta? I'm sure he got well, fucking shot. They're sending something. riders from the fort. We need to leave. But where's Peta? Was he killed? He's alive. Well, that went just about according to plan. I'm trying. I'm trying, Arthur, with everything I have, and I will keep trying, and you'll keep doubting me, and we'll keep failing. It ain't like that, Dutch. Look at me. Look at me! I'm just... I'm worried about folk. I know. I... We should go. Where's Eagle Flies? Run, son! Run! Come on! This area is gonna be crawling with soldiers in a few minutes. We gotta leave. Now! What about Eagle Flies? We gotta go, Arthur. Come on! Oh my God. We need to ride hard! Stay with me! I mean, I'm not surprised. We knew he didn't actually give a fuck about Eagle Flies, but right. this just sucks. Yeah. That's Dutch for you. Mm-hmm. Left here! Into the trees! Oh! Ooh! Okay, let's dismount here. We won't get the horses down this path. All unarmed use to focus right. your horse. Let's right? carry on by foot and try and sell them a little snake oil. You Wait, think? Use LT to focus me. Let's oh. see if we can lose them down here. Shit! I guess not. Yeah, I Get behind something, Arthur. Go to hell, you God damn This is a good one. Hello, officers. You keep them hands up and come here. Put your hands up. Hello, Captain. Keep your hands up and come here. 
Come here. We, uh... We can't do that. Your man... Those men they killed... They were good men. You're fighting nature, Captain. Get over here! Ask my friend here. My whole life, I tried to fight change. It's a waste. I see that now. It's a waste. You can't fight nature, Captain. You can't fight change. You can't fight gravity. Oh my gosh. Oh, oh there's wow. that. Okay. I'm not swimming very fast. There we go. That's gonna be like shot. You're okay. Uh, what a mess. <laughs> I know. But a mess is what we need. Oh, we just escaped from chaos. Eagle flies must have been taken. Taken or killed. Well, we can't go find out. No, not now. Charles, I'll, we'll send them. Where is it? He's probably back at camp. Let's split up. I'll go tell him. You rest up. Keep a lookout. We are gonna make it, brother. I can feel it. Faith, Arthur. Have faith. Oh, Arthur. This sucks. Yeah. No, this deer. Oh! Uh, but... <laughs> well, geez. Okay, let's see if we can fast travel back to camp. Is that possible? I think Beaver Hollow is where we live, right? No, oh, I don't know. You're not going to tell me, huh? You have to tell me. I think it is. Them. I think it is Beaver Hollow. Jeez Louise, am I right? You are so right. Oh my God. Can you imagine? I can't even imagine. I know. Bless her heart. Bless her little sweet pea pe picking heart. Is that really what people say? Yeah. Oh, that's funny. Pea picking. They usually just say bless your heart. But it's really sad. Yeah. If you're really southern. Really sad. And you are. I am. Very much so. So are you. Oh no. Close your daggum satchel. Ooh, a, good, a mission with Sadie next time. Okay, let's see. Um, saw Captain Monroe again. A good man in a difficult situation. This dump must seem a long way from West Point in Washington. He cares about the Indians, but he ain't too friendly with the local regiment. Helped him dispute some vaccines others were not so keen to offer. Hey. Oop, wrong one. Got into a fight with a drunk giant with a tiny head. Yes, that's what <laughs> happened. Fellow with was strangling a barkeep who had turned off his liquor supply. Part of some kind of circus act. The show was run by a woman, Marjorie, I think. She's missing a tiny magician. I, sh I suppose we all are. He's run away into the woods. Said if I saw him, I'd send him back to them. Found the little magician and reunited with his odd family. Fella tried to give me the slip a few times, but in the end, seems the they love each other even more than they hate each other. Or at least it was close. Want me to see their show some time in San Denis, and said they'll reward me when they. W sorry. And reward me then as they were broke now. 
Met a real pair of, well, I don't know what they were. Names were so ridiculous I wouldn't even begin to remember them. But they were Greek or Latin or gibberish. Pair of twins. Dead keen on insulting each other and hitting each other to impress a woman. I'd done lots of stupid things to impress women, but this is ridiculous. I end up being William Tail. I think they were college boys. Guess education ain't always the answer to mankind's problems. Nice enough boys, though, but odd as hell. Oh, I like yeah. that he drew it. Yeah. Okay, and that's all we got. <clears throat> all right, let me just donate this snake to Pearson. You can make a stew of it. Yeah, uh, fine morning. Hi, Karen. Let's hope for a better day. You, everyone always uh, says that. Long day ahead. Hey, Mary Beth. Hey, Mary morning, Beth. Arthur. That one horse is still eating grass, not looking up. That's crazy. That must be the one with the weird face. Probably. Oh, Pearson's gone. Oh, look who it is. Hello, Karen. Oh, are you mad at me? <laughs> look who it is. Oh, Arthur. Big, tough Arthur. <laughs> you want to know something, Arthur? Yes. What? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I had something to say. I did. Okay. Take it easy, Karen. On the hooch. On the hooch. Why? Because a good sober life will bring me peace and contentment? What a crock of shit this world is. Mm. Okay. Yes, I'll leave you to it. <laughs> he <then>. always, <laughs> he's always leaving say. people to it. Yeah. We're gonna okay. run out of meat here soon if we're not careful. Okay, well, I just gave you a feather. Many thanks. Yeah, you're welcome. Enjoy that, and I think that'll make a delicious Many thanks, stew. Mr. Morgan. What you gonna do with a turkey feather? That's up to him. That's not up to me. He's not, a chef. You're not nosy. Exactly. I'd be nosy. Morning, Arthur. Javier. Why'd you say it like that? Can we talk? I don't have much to say to you right now. Well, guess I'll leave you to it then. Sure. Now that's Trelawney. Can't talk to him because he wants to start a mission. And we don't have time for that, do we? No, we don't. Follow like a blind dog, don't you? I don't want to hear it out of you, okay? Think for yourself for once. What did I do, huh? <coughs> you a child. When are you gonna get the message? God damn fool! I can't believe you attacked me. I know. Don't you say anything, Abigail. Mr. Williamson. You okay? What's with him? Uh, everyone's on edge right now. Don't worry about him, Abigail. Talking to me about loyalty. Bill don't want to see the truth, that's all. Well, try to keep your head straight. Woo! I guess. Things are not good at camp right no, now. No, they're not. Tent. Where? Uncle, which horse is yours? Should you eat some stew while it's there? I don't, uh, I don't know if there actually is any stew. Guess what they were eating. Yeah, but I don't know if it, I don't see it on the camp. Because oh. that's just the butcher. I think he's making the stew or something. Or something. All right, Arthur, it's time to go to bed. Oh, let me... What is this by my bedside? Oh, Arthur. Oh, hey, what's up? Look at this flower. Zoom. I can almost see it. There we go. See, there is that go. better? Yes. Yeah, I can still very see it. But hi, Abigail. Mary Beth. Don't you talk to Mary Beth. Hi there. Just making sure he wasn't going to be needed. Yes, her. of course. I have to go to sleep. How um, much do you want? Oh, geez, it's morning right now. Uh, we'll just do noon. It'll be a little nap. Yeah. Mm. That's what a man with TV needs, just a little nap. Good night. Sorry you had a rough day, Arthur. Jeez. Did we say goodbye to Arthur? I don't think we did. Bye, Arthur. Arthur. See you next time, boy. Okay. Um, a lot happened. Yeah. A lot happened. A lot. We, I'm, 
I, I, got, I can't even put into words how much happened. What do you? What was your favorite part? Um, I liked it when we changed, chased the little guy, and I liked when we went to see Charlotte. <gasps> Me too. Yeah. Honestly, I was gonna say that too. That the um circus act um yes. was my favorite. Ancy and Charlotte. That yeah. was so sweet. It was. It was. Maybe in another life, you know, maybe her and Arthur would have gotten together. I think they would have been a good good yeah. couple. They would. Um, I really am like shocked with Dutch. Seriously, I mean, don't I knew obviously that he did not give a shit about like what Eagle Fly's um goal was, but it's like genuinely crazy that he was just like, we got to go, like we got to get out of here. And then Arthur kept saying that he kept saying like, we got to get out of here, we got to yeah. get out of here. And Dutch was like, no, 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 because if they would have left earlier, then probably everyone would have been fine, right. you know. But <sighs> yeah. I just, I can't even, and I can't, so, so now the different sides is on, in camp are Bill, Javier, Micah, Dutch, right? Right. And then we know Arthur, Charles, John, Abigail, Jack is um, automatically, I guess, on that side. And then we don't really know, I think Sadie is more on Arthur's side. Okay. I don't know though. I guess kind of Sadie, Pearson, who else? Hosea. Huh? Oh, we don't know any of the girls. I mean, I would assume the girls want everything to go back to normal, but I don't know. I guess the girls and Hosea, uh, not Hosea. <gasps> that was sad. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Okay, we didn't even think of a question today. Um, oh, we did that again. I guess we'll say who's your favorite guy in camp. Sorry, it's a generic question. I know I just asked the girls last time, now the guys. Favorite Arthur. Yeah, definitely. Come on. I guess it's besides Arthur, though. Arthur is not in this equation. Um, I like John. Okay, let me think. Yeah, I guess John's my favorite, yeah. too. Yeah. Yeah. All righty. Well, thank you, guys. And um, we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye. So the last time we found out that Arthur had a baby. Wait, let's redo that. So we found out Arthur had a child. Well, last time... So last time we found out that John had a son. J Jack. Uh, Jack is John's uh, son. <laughs> okay. Episode 24. Why is that funny? I thought it was wrong. I was thinking it was 14. Oh. Okay. <laughs> we found out that John helped somebody love a bridge. Arthur. Oh, he helped Arthur. <laughs>